Paper we begin tonight with a child fighting a rare genetic disorder. In January, Newswatch 16 told you about a family in need of some financial help for three-year-old Carissa Drum. Since then, Carissa has been diagnosed with Zellweger's syndrome, an extremely rare disorder. Tonight, as Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strube shows us, her family needs to share some somber news. Carissa Drum of Slocum Township enjoyed things many three-year-olds love, like music and going for rides in the car. This video was taken back in January when Newswatch 16 first met Carissa and her family, when they were asking for help to buy this van and ramp for Carissa. For that, her family says thank you. Be able to provide Carissa with as much um, normality as possible. So um, the community was wonderful. Valley with a heart was wonderful. And um, they were able to get a van to transport her to and from all of her appointments and family gatherings and things like that. And she loved the van. She loved going for her car rides and sitting out on the porch. She was such a happy little girl in the car. It was her favorite thing to take car rides. Unfortunately, this thank you comes with heartbreak. Since we last met Carissa, she was diagnosed with Zellweger syndrome, an extremely rare disorder that inhibits cell metabolism. Earlier this month, Carissa came down with a urinary tract infection. And at this time, she's too weak to continue treatments, and our family thought it was best to keep her comfortable, and she ended up taking a turn for the worse on Sunday, and now it's just a matter of time. Unfortunately, Carissa passed away just hours after this interview with her family. They tell us they are extremely thankful for the members of their community who stepped up and allowed for Carissa to enjoy her final months with her family. And we just want to raise awareness about Zellweger syndrome and how extremely rare it is. And, you know, that no family should have to go through something like this, but that we're so appreciative of the community. A meal train and donation fund has been set up for Carissa's family to help them with meals and Carissa's final expenses. You can find a link for the fundraiser on WNEP.com. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.